my screen is visible uh, no koshi uh, no ha uh, yes no? it's visible uh, yeah it's visible okay now we are going to test and trying to create some tests in the react environment right yes start day we doing some unit test case in the normal uh, gist environment the node environment so here creating the test case in the react so you first your react application looks like that right in my react applications and here we have to add the library the library is for that gist the uh, this three library is required you can say that dependency in my dependency there are three library js dom user event and the react these three testing library as required and one more thing we have to add one setup uh, test.js is required means we have multiple test cases right if there is multiple modules multiple components should be there that time if uh, means every uh, Uh, JS file is not possible to import all the thing again and again. It's very time consuming as well as we cannot manage all the things at a time. So setup test dot JS. This is the file where we can import our testing library. Right? You can add that testing library JS dom. I have added over here. So you have to import that thing. And uh, in my case, I will just try to. Create one app, normal function app. Well, welcome to React. This uh, function I have created, and trying to create that app test dot js. How React will uh, will uh, configure the test cases and how it will run. That is my first test. So I'll write this. I will use this for. So I am going to uh, input the app file because earlier we saw that we created one uh, some uh, one uh, file that one for all some configuration we have added right means summation different subtraction all the things will be there. So same way I have uh, created this app file. Where app um, uh, this file we have to import in the app dot test dot js. Or also, you can write app dot spec dot js. This file uh, name should be app test dot js or app spec dot js. So I I have added that app test dot js. Okay, the input app. First, this case I'm right. Test. I can divide. You have to add. And I'm going to test that this uh, text, whatever I have added, this is present or not in that uh, column text. So test is present or not. So I create one variable that is created by text equal to render. This render method we have to import from that testing library, not that React DOM. By default, if you write the render, it Uh, import the React DOM, but I don't require these things. Import.
eight by two is I'm uh, restructuring over there. So eight by two is my is coming from that render means this is a variable and render function means whatever inside the app function we have consumed these things. Text in the world of its bit. In element, not to a document. Now. We have to install that library because library is first install. Sorry, and uh, in PMI, install the modules. Require some time to install on the module because dependencies of your all testing library going to be installed over there.
I think all the libraries are added over here and try to execute the first test. And the command. This command you can also customize in this way. Mine test. Instead of test, I'll consume this thing. It. Oh, sorry, not It's going to run the app test dot is simple. There is no any hidden thing. So my one test case is passed. You can see that uh, its expectation is made, but. If I change the text and rerun, see what happened from the test case. It's trying so that text not find and W means that so more. If you want to give the more options, so W you have to press and continuously watch more means whatever. Uh, we are going to execute its watch mode. We no need to run again and again the test case. But if you want, you can also quit. Then that time you have to press the key. So, uh, in the test case, uh, it is a jest, okay, jest library I am using. Same thing we can achieve from that for enzyme. Enzyme is also a testing library like jest, okay. But we have to configure the engine engine testing library uh, in our React component. So both things should be covered. Means at a time you can also run these things also engine. This library you can also run. So for installing the gen, uh, engine, you want to install this package. And this is the official engine website. You can see this. I'll send it later. First, copy. Take other terminal. Don't disturb this terminal. And copy this. And I'll run it. NPMI save dev engine adapter 16. This you have to add. So engine 3.11 is already installed. And we have to try to add one test case. I mean, Create the in that place I like. Okay. So this import in time. Um, 
This adapter is required, otherwise, engine will not work, and this three line is very important for. Configuring the engine in your test bed. Test bed. Now again, import this thing. And I can't get your case file in which you want to test. And I'm going to add one thing this slide. Ready to block your brain. Object sheet method. It's an identifier. In game, we have to do one thing that's hello. This is very useful concept. Hello and mouse. Hello, uh, what we'll do whenever we want to get that entire data from that app, app.js, everything inside the function. So it requires hello, means I need to go this place. Okay. So I want to get everything from that part. So that's why I use hello. We have to import the hello method. Inside the hello, now console dot log. Is coming inside the wrapper that I want to consult. You can see that console dot the one object has been created, right? But we are not able to see that the HTML part, what is I have written inside that app.js. So you need debug method. So to debug in that way, you can explore that debug. Whatever is written, that you can explore over there in that test case. And that is the same use case of the utils method in the Node.js. We have to explore the entire thing. So whatever the object we are getting from Node.js or any app. So uh, until and unless we are written dot JSON, right? One JSON object is coming from the API. 
and without we written the dot json it will show in my browser object object you cannot understand what is written inside that object right so we have to explore this thing so that's why debug the same thing debug method is there You can see the deep class, whatever I've written, that is coming, right? Earlier it was coming that shallow wrapper object. Inside the object, I have add these things. Yes. Yeah? Yes. yes. Because this is very important. Means whenever we are putting stuff, right? I are not understand that uh, how we can uh, write the appropriate thing, how, what the value is coming, I cannot understand. That time we use the debug method. It's very useful. And you have to explain I'm going to paste that class name whatever I've given that is exist or not so wrapper dot I will add dot because it's class. If it will be ID, then I will use has. For the class, I will add dot. So I'm writing, I'm going to paste that this class is exist or not, right? And dot to So it's also pass. Just going to cross check. I'll add anonymous class name. Expected true means I'm going to expect true, but we got received false because this is not present in my class, right? So that is, that way you can check that class name is present or not inside your code base, right? That particular things. Object check you can also use. And this thing, that import engine, if I have multiple places, right? I'm going to create another page where I have to write the same thing. So the configuration should be unique in one place. So I will add this thing. In, you can also add in the test file. That's not problem. It will work. But if the multiple pages there, my app.js, app1.js, multiple pages are there, that time you have to call it again and again. That's very hectic. I will add here. It's a global configuration. Once you add these things, Okay, hello method not not coming. Hello, I think you can. This method particularly in that method. Input hello means hello. You can use that. So whatever is required inside that method, you cannot copy. You have to uh, add this one, but 
is but the global thing the enzyme react and the adapter you should add over there setup test.js is a global test means configuration file you have to add this thing okay now i'm going to create another test case i'll create one file right that will be better yeah so i'll add one here I'll create one function. Attribute I learned. What you have created? Trying to run this in the browser, what will render?
two, three, four, five, six coming. This is uh, the one scenario I want to go into test. App test or choice. Some configuration I have to create over there. Thing. One for me. I set up and also one thing I did here. Or you also do uh, these things over here directly, but I create one function or variable and then set up to add over here. Earlier, I have added this hello, okay. The alternative approach. Thank you. 
have to find find this attribute first. Is I missed one thing, but least I added. But the So the lin of the component that is you understood right what I'm doing? Hello? Uh, yes, sir. So the lin that check, okay. I'm creating the setup and create another in by uh, your function where that this is the attribute and then well I have to compare and that that is one or no that I have to check, okay. okay. First test is Again, I'll write the button. Forms button equal to pass the value of the 
and my button. Component have only one. That's why it's laid this one. Increment button. I'll add. I'm just pass over here. Pass. And that is this will right. That is all favor. Counts, button counts. Even start from zero, that also be set up. And one is that when I click that button, that time how it's work, that is the same also right. button
this can be analyzed and uh, that test case is written okay, okay. how many length of the component the button the counter and also you know, when you click that time the value is there or not just click one two three that let's try to run you see that all uh, the execution point of that first six millisecond one millisecond that's why that the six test case is run any question that setup uh, you uh, define in the uh, beginning right uh, this is my setup okay so i will first you have to gather all information from that app what the what the test you are doing right yeah so that's why it's hello it's uh, enzyme will provide okay so okay. hello everything inside the app you will console log in the earlier example i saw the console log app right hello. so it will render everything but you you need the test but you need this all things from the test side right otherwise mm -hmm. how you can do that so that's why this setup i have created for that and kaushik uh, means whatever the function i have provided na, in the find by test is, is treated as a props over there as a props is going okay mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. it will understand mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. And Kaushik, uh, Shalo mentioned another uh, page name like that app or app one. This one. Mm -hmm. This uh, is a prop means. Actually, I uh, actually I have using app. Okay, all uh, app data. Uh, so. App data. App app .js data. Um, hmm. I have rendered the app. Its test uh, test cases written. Otherwise, I have to take another page in that function. So, you have to use it and use it. So, how can you mention it in the setup? If you have a different page, you have to have a different test case, right? Okay, the test case is different. Like, if you have a different file, you have to use the mount. You will see that you will use the mount. You will use the file. You will use the file. You will use the file. You are calling from one component, right? Yes. One component is calling from another component, right? Yes. Sir. So how you can test, right? That yes. time you can use mount. So mount ke example call dunga me. Ha. Actually, uh, this is app test dot js me mera app bhi page hai. This is only standalone, only one page because ha, mando aapke paas aur ek page hai. You are importing this thing and and you also doing this kind of thing, right? Yes. Yes. To say this thing, right? So about. So about ka data mujhe kaise milega idhar, right? Yes, yes, Kaushik. So, इसके लिए मुझे mount use करना पड़ेगा mount. Okay. So mount क्या करेगा? आपका data ही देगा, लेकिन nested component का data भी वो print कर देगा आपके console में. जो जो है. Yes, Kaushik. Okay. तो hello मतलब आपका अगर standalone component है, if you standalone component, that time you can use hello. Okay. Okay. Yes, Kaushik. So this is the test case which you have to infer from that analysis is what may be the test case we want to write, right? This, that is the main thing. So the increment button, I have to check. The button is there or not, I have to check. The length, I can check. So then this is the means you got the everything as a wrapper when you set up the file. Then everything is your hand, right? So you can do anything from there. So you can create the, uh, I, 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 I have tested uh, through that, this one, data test, this is the attribute, right? So attribute, bar bar, I cannot use. So that's why I have created this function, find by test attribute. Yeah, that was also, I wanted to know that you add the attribute data yeah. test, right? Uh, in that HTML. Uh, so data test is a right. custom attribute of HTML property, right? HTML props. Yeah. And here you value as a pass as an argument and then it will render the value. Okay, so uh, whatever we need to test, uh, that we need to add that attribute if, he, if I want to do like that. Yeah, means if you want to check the 
uh, is attribute data that you, you need that right means i have uh, this example for your that attribute wise how can we test this mm, yes coach and if your attributes are different then different different test case will come and uh, tomorrow the mount and one more thing that mock data from the axios or any fetch how we can consume right this thing also be there okay. and re redux site if the redux is there then how can we test the redux and uh, react test case that i also show and another important thing is have you gone through that um, how is that seo point of view how can you test this thing in searching in optimization ke liye that test case kaise hota hai no और पहले आपने दिखाया जस्ट यूज करके राइट दोनों है आपका इसके अंदर दोनों ही है मैंने किसी को कॉमेंट नहीं किया एक साथ दो भी चल सकता है ये ये एक ग्लोबल फाइल राइट मान लो आपके पास मल्टीपल जेस फाइल है ना हाँ हाँ. तो मल्टीपल जेस फाइल में आपको ये बार बार नहीं लिखना पड़ेगा ये चीज अगर आप हाँ ये बार बार लिख के भी कर सकते हैं आप नेट नॉट एन इशू बट अगर मुझे ग्लोबल सेटअप करना है तो सेटअप टेस्ट डॉट जेस बोल के फाइल हाँ, हाँ, उसमें हाँ, मैं कॉन्फ़िगरेशन रिलेटेड जो मेरा है वो आई विल एड ओवर देर हाँ ओके बट आपने जो टेस्ट फाइल में लिखा है पहले जेस्ट का लिखा था वो मतलब दोनों एक साथ चल सकता है राइट अगर मैं इसको अनकमेंट कर दू जो फर्स्ट टेस्ट है ये देखिए ये मेरा हाँ, ये आपने लिखा ना हाँ, तो टेक्स्ट इज प्रेजेंट और नॉट इन दैट केस राइट हाँ, हाँ, तो ये इससे इसको चल सकते हैं वही मैं पूछ रहा था कि अगर मैं आ, लेकिन ये टेक्स्ट होना चाहिए इसके अंदर मान लीजिए काउंटर राइट और इसके अंदर मैं टेस्ट दे देता हूँ देख लेना इसको ओपन करना पड़ेगा ना ऑलरेडी ओपन है तो उधर ना मिनट नहीं नहीं लगेगा ये इधर लगेगा दो हजार रिक्वेस्ट फॉर दैट लाइब्रेरी दैट इज यू हैव टू ऐड ओवर देन ओके योर इंटर में तो कॉल हुआ है मेरा यहां से अंदर जो है वो ओके अबाउट अबाउट सॉरी एंड आई थिंक दैट अबाउट इट्स नॉट देयर राइट यस यस बिकॉज़ आई एज एग्जांपल आई एम सॉरी ओके रेंडर विद आउट एरर Fast text is present or not? Everything mm -hmm. is fast. Is test just another engine? Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. And uh, or a uh, question that was it? That if 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 या फिर वही मतलब हम लोग सिर्फ जेस्ट यूज करके लिख सकते हैं एंजाइम अगर ना यूज करें देखो जेस्ट से इन दोनों अलग अलग कॉन्फ़िगर है राइट मतलब जेस्ट इन यूज कैसे एंजाइम एक यूज कैसे तो एंजाइम से भी लोग लिखते हैं जेस्ट से भी लोग करते हैं तो एस पर द यूज केस वी कैन चूज ओके तो इसमें कोई नहीं है जो मुझे जेस्ट में हर हर कोई चीज जेस्ट में भी होता है कोई चीज तुम्हारा एंजाइम में भी हो सकता है दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन द बिजनेस यूज केस How we can hmm. configure? Hmm. Okay, but in general, what happens is that the nested thing is that its 
सब प्लग इन होता है तो यू कैन इजीली अंडरस्टैंड गेस्ट में भी होगा बट उसे थोड़ा लाइन ज्यादा करना पड़ेगा ओके 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 यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज द थिंग लेकिन ऐसा होगा नहीं नहीं हो सकता है मतलब दोनों से ही सब कुछ हो सकता है तो हम मॉक डेटा को हम ले सकते हैं वी कैन आल्सो रिडक्स को भी टेस्ट कर सकते हैं रिएक्ट को भी टेस्ट कर सकते हैं लेकिन हर दोनों का थोड़ा थोड़ा बेनिफिशियल होता है लेकिन इंजाइन लोग ज्यादा यूज करते हैं मैं देख रहा हूं ये से भी होगा ऐसा नहीं जिससे नहीं होगा ओके ओके ठीक है ठीक और कोई क्वेश्चन नो क्वेश्चन नो 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 सर स्टॉप द रिकॉर्डिंग यस Also tomorrow we'll come with another session. I think I'll cover that. If 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 I.